Here we go. <laughs> oh, what, what was it? in in that order? <laughs> are people censoring their private lives? Yes. Did both of y'all say yeah at the same time? Nah, he said it. That's but what, he he said it for me. You knew oh. I was gonna say yes. <laughs> that's Wait, why, that's why I put it on there. Are people censoring their private lives? What does that mean? All right. All right. So we we're living in PC culture, right? So I'm if, so if far. that's if that's how we're moving in the public eye, and my theory on people are not having sex. That's the reason why they're so they're so gung ho and stuck on people's sexualities and how people are having sex and stuff like that, right? So if that's the case, then <clears throat> it leads me to believe that this this runs a lot deeper, and they're doing this shit behind closed doors to, hmm. to bring to bring that into the public. Like I don't think that they're wilding out, and then somehow are able to dial their shit back when. when so you think doing. everybody just turned down, turned the fuck down, like? Huh? That's interesting. To the point where, to the point where your kids don't respect you. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> How do those go together? Hey, How the fuck do those I'm, go? Hey, when L, when L just I'm, come off the bench, that's, how, like, that's how he feel it. He's like, yo, the give pie, me the rock. The pot, the pot too turned down right now. You want to take it there, huh? Yeah, I had to go. I had to switch to Jersey like, uh, like Jimmy Butler. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to rock the no name. All right, go ahead. Because people with kids keep coming for us, like. Lex the only one and you niggas sit up there and talk like y'all got kids for real, bro. I mean, if niggas with kids took that shit personal, bro, it might be you. <laughs> it might be. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're getting canceled this week, man. Go for it. You just nah, go ahead. Man, I don't think people should nah, take this personal. We can't get canceled. Real. I got a kid, so it's good. Oh, go ahead, say whatever you want. <laughs> when have safe. I ever let, said you let, wrong? Hey, when hey. have I said you wrong? Hey, that's why you my guy. <laughs> we always see each other like this, man. Wait. But he said your kids don't respect you because you turned down. What does that mean? I don't know what that means, bro. All right, Help so, me. so if you know that your parent was living a certain type of way, right, growing up, and then they had you, and all of a sudden they trying to insert shit that they didn't do into hmm. you, that lets me know that I can't respect you because you're not living thorough. I'm rolling because you're right, but I don't want to agree. But you're right. Go ahead. Go like ahead. you don't all of a sudden, all of a sudden have an epiphany in there, and now you to, now you walk on water and shit. Am I lying? You're not. <laughs> I'm, ro I'm rolling. I don't want to agree, but I, I. you're right. Go ahead. Keep going. All right, cool. So, yeah. So, so, so how do you get to, in what capacity are people censoring themselves in their private lives? Or what is that like? It, like I, that's, not, that's just broad to me. I already, so, already said that they're not having sex with each other. That's, oh, <laughs> okay. You should be censoring that from your kids. So what else are you talking about? No, I'm talking about censoring from everyone. So you're censoring from the other adults in the room. You're censoring from your child. You're censoring from guests. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're, if you're holding up a facade, right, and you're making it seem as if this is the right way to live. So pandering. Yeah. It's, all, it's condescending. Like. You're insulting their, you're insulting everyone's intelligence Facts. by Facts. by making it seem as if there's a way to live perfect, like perfect is obtainable. So you can strive towards that, but you ain't gonna say that you are you already there. What is one hoping to achieve in doing that? Uh, in, in, improvement, um, increasing of status. It's all about that. Fuck. Damn, L, that was a way better answer than me. What'd you have? <laughs> yeah, what'd you have? What'd you have? I was gonna say likes. I, that, there you go. That's, 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 that's a short frame. Yeah, that's a short frame. Yeah. But see, he worded it so elegantly, made it sound super smart. Because <laughs> I'm here for narrative. I'm here for narrative. So, <laughs> so that goes back to your point from a few weeks ago that everybody's branding. Everybody's a brand. Yes. Jeez. From the moment you decide to play the social media game, you are you start the branding. Hmm. I knew from I knew from when I was a kid that branding was a thing uh, because my mom does hair. And that was like she did that shit on the side. And I was like a walking billboard for, for her. her when I had long hair, so braids. Um, when I tried to transition into like dreads, when I cut it, and now I just had like short hair or whatever. And she was doing my cuts on that shit with like designs and stuff. So I was a walking billboard for her work that she's doing. In a way, it was me also branding myself. Hmm. Um, when it came to like 
playing playing hoop and stuff like that and the community that I was building and the, the amount of people that knew me and from there was able to take along what they saw from what I was doing and maneuver that into whatever location they was going into. Gotcha. So that's an extension of a brand. Gotcha. Uh, so if people know you for a certain thing, then that's what it is. And then when social media came about, um, that meant that everyone, regardless of what you're doing, what you present is your brand. Whether you have a company or not, that is your brand. So you are walk. That is how you are modeling yourself for the public, whether you're doing that in real life or not. You know what I mean? So your presentation on there is letting me know that behind behind closed doors, y'all censoring yourself. So now we know that with PC culture moving into mainstream and pop culture, though. Mm-hmm and cancel culture and and sort of the retro active canceling of shit mm. ellen for example like the long game isn't to censor yourself because then you just look now you suspect if you just nice you just wholesome you just sweet all the time now i gotta suspect that you were with epstein at some point or somebody on your staff was touching the the, the your your other staffers or some shit like that. like now i just have to assume that because that's what keeps happening they keep getting all the nice motherfuckers out the way like, you could have never told me they were coming for Ellen. You could have never told me they were coming for Brian Callen. You could have, like, you see where I'm going here? Like, this is this is getting kind of strange now. Remember what I was saying before? And it's blasphemous to say. Hmm. And it continues to be blasphemous every single time I say it. But where do you think Oprah at? Somewhere praying. That don't nothing come out about her. St- if, if they get Oprah out of here, I'm done with everybody. I promise you. I be, be, oh, best best believe. Oh, been on TV for 40 years, bro. Be, if, if they come be get her, a, person, you me? say it again. She'd be perfect. I mean, she would like ideal, ideal. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me that. No. And you got to think she been in Africa way too long with kids. She's definitely creating her clone right now. Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't tell me they coming for Oprah next. Uh, what, I just what told I, you they got no, Tom Hanks. What I'm oh, you did. <laughs> Say it again. They came for the white ladies. They came. They had to come for it Ellen, was, Ellen, they, Ellen. Ellen. Ellen been shucking and jiving way too long. It was. It was easy. <laughs> it was easier. It was easier to get Ellen than it was to get Oprah, though. Like I feel like Oprah has put together enough uh, separation from what her actual dirt is, where you would have to actually take down a good amount of walls in order to get to in her. order to get to her because i think i think her shit is removed from but in from her in fairness it feels like ellen is one of them walls like all right we got her now we coming for you now i didn't i hadn't thought about it until y'all said it now i'm nervous because if they get oprah i'm gonna be sick because ain't no one no one's safe so you niggas think they're they gonna flip stedman oh they're gonna flip <laughs> Fle- hey if flip hey if stedman flip he's a hoe i'm sorry hey y'all. i'm sorry they he better not tell he better not tell. Y'all better wonder. <laughs> when's the last time y'all saw a picture of Stedman? Never. Exactly. You don't know what Stedman. We're all you know, guessing. You know, you know we do Stedman not know like. what Stedman looks like. <laughs> you, you, only, you, only got this, you only got the name Stedman. Yeah. How, how Stedman many, not, might not even be real, first bro, of all. That is an alias. Let's start there. <laughs> that's he, may not even, he may not be real. Let's start there. That's Oprah's also ego. So what you going to tell me? She going to come out with a do-rag on and a perm? <laughs> Uh, oh shit, bro! You try to tell me uh, Oprah got a what's that? What's that? What's that movie uh, that M Night Shyamalan did? No, she's got a, a Ruxpin when uh, Childish played the uh, the dad or the yeah, yeah she got no. She, Don't Op- tell me that Oprah. Oprah's got that uh, the motel. Mm-mm. I'm not rolling. Bro, yeah, she put the dress on, but then she also put the pants. <laughs> She got one leg in the pan, the other leg in the, in the dress. And the house is built with secret compartments so she can do that shit hella fast and just be Stedman and Oprah. Bro. Oh, no. Has them combos sick. Cause has we're anybody argument. seen them together? Have you seen Have you seen Oprah and Stedman together? I mean, we, we could Google, but that's not as fun as the rest of this conversation. So, Have y'all seen Oprah and Stedman together before? We had enough So you've seen them together before? Yes. You, pr- you sure? See, no, but you feel like you have. They see, see, place they made, nah, they made see, you think the that place. they. You've been in the same place. Yeah. You seen them together before? Nope. Point. Point proven. Point seen proven. I've never, never seen them. Never seen them. The Chappelle skit is the closest. And also, I, and also, I want to know what Stedman did to be on one name basis. <laughs> Damn. You that's, don't know what his last name That's Elias, bro. What's his last name? Or is his last name Stedman? 
Oh, he might be with the mob if he's a Oh, blast shit. Person, we, now we got to find out. Watch, you going to pull him up. He's going to have everything about him. Nah, you gonna pull, you gonna pull him up. It's gonna be ten different people. There's, 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 there's Graham, ten different, ten different shades Edmund of black. Graham, huh? And I have seen. Okay, I've seen them together before. That's not fair. Oh, I've, I've seen them together before. Okay, okay. He related. To sorry, Aubrey. sorry, Stedman. He related, he related. Aubrey, you said Aubrey. Yeah, he's from Canada. He for sure look like uh, he could be Aubrey's dad. For sure, for sure. He got the mustache. He got the mustache. That's what's up. Think I'm playing? I hate you. Nice. I've never seen Stedman before. <laughs> You've seen Stephen before. You just don't know you've seen him. That's why I was like, oh, damn, I've seen Brett before. Oh, he just got the stash. He's got the stash. That's Aubrey's uncle. That's it's cool. all making sense. It is. <laughs> hey, Stephen also 6'7". That's cold. Stephen not 6'7". Oh, shit. That's scary. Damn. That's Aubrey's uncle for sure. It's got to be. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Fuck. We ain't cracked that one. We cracked the fellas. code. Good job, fellas. 